Alrighty everyone, this is Squancy slash Overtime. Uh, we'll be doing a review on the 5770 Vapor X Edition by Sapphire. Uh, I had already opened the box to make sure that the concepts in here were correct. And yes, they are correct. The Radeon HD 5770 is in here. I'm not opening this bad boy. Um, this is my first mid-level gaming entry gaming card. I have never owned a graphic card that can perform great performance. I've only used uh, graphic cards with low performance, so I'm very excited. Uh, my first great graphics card, and I got it overclocked already, so what a great, great graphic card to already get as a first timer. Um, right out of the bat, I don't, I already felt the way it feels, and it feels like it has a lump. It's kind of like just uh, forced right into there, so I don't really like that already. It has like a lumpy thing to it, so as I'm picky about that, but uh, no, no worries. I'm sure nothing happened to the package. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it, take it out, <coughs> and it's pretty stiff. There it is. Oh yeah, there's the package itself. <coughs> the old brown package, and like I said, it feels lumpy already. So you can kind of see a lump on there. Like they just forced it in there. So, but uh, <coughs> right at the bat, they did provide some great uh, padding on top. That's very good by the Sapphire themselves for providing that. Uh, right off the bat, you got your driver CD right here. Everyone, every single video that I see, they always just toss it aside. Well, as you can see right there, there is a sticker. So, do not just toss this CD out of the way. I'm just going to throw this sticker right onto my gaming case, my gaming rig. So, I do support Sapphire and I love Sapphire, so very good for them to leave, put a sticker into this package. Also, you got a, a Molex the six pin, yeah, you got a Molex the six pin adapter right here. So for any of those that do not have a six pin uh, connection on their uh, PSU, the Sapphire has provided for you. Great of them to do that. <coughs> Sorry guys, a little sick. Um, Got your Sapphire Graphics Card Quick Installation Guide. Uh, if you want a quick installation, go on YouTube. You can find a lot of quick installation guides over there. Um, yeah, it's that. Uh, Sapphire Select Club. You join and get rewarded, I guess. I'm not going to join it. Maybe I will. I don't know. And it tells me to stop here. Alright, I guess I'll stop the video, guys. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, is this to. You must connect the graphics. Uh, board to computer's power supply. Well, duh. <coughs> we'll go back to that in a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there is more some there is more uh, stuff down here. You got your VGA to DVI connection. So for all y'all that are still on VGA, like me, uh, they provided this for you. Uh, I do have both connections, DVI and VGA. I I just don't know why, but I like to use VGA a lot more. But uh, um, yeah, they they provide this for you. So whatever. Um, you got your crossfire support uh, for those of you who are really rich and can afford two of these bad boys because I definitely would but oh well yes, <laughs> they gave you this for you so you can run these <coughs> bad boys in crossfire alrighty guys the moment you've been waiting for the graphics card itself placed in the non-static uh, bag along with the little bubble pop thingies inside here so make sure it's extra protected along with this padding like I said it came with this padding on here just to make sure that's probably where it's getting that bump from this is they've added this padding in here so yeah good on the, good on their end but I still don't like the packaging I guess <laughs> that's just me guys that's just me um, let me just try to get this out of here there we go oh my god wow this thing <coughs> wow I have seen so many videos, guys, and pictures of this graphics card, and I can tell you right now, it does not look like anything that this video is going to show you. It looks so much prettier in person, and oh my god, I already see a con with it. Um, I noticed a lot of other graphic 5770s, the other manufacturers will pr uh, provide a little cover on the bottom back here for your PCIe Express uh, thingy, and it does not come with a cover, so ugh, iffy about that already. Uh, they did not put any covers on the DVIs, 
or your HDMI or your DP port. So, ooh, that's just a, that's just me personal preference. I wish they added covers, especially on the cross on the crossfire uh things, on the top, because uh, I would like to have it on while I'm not using it. But uh, I guess uh, whatever they didn't provide that for me. So, <clears throat> but oh my God, let me just tell you, this graphic card looks so beautiful. It looks so shiny. I mean. Wow, they did a really good job designing this card, and uh, as you can see, that's where the the heat sink is right there. Um, there's your six pin connection, and there's another heat sink, and that's your fan connection. Um, uh, I, I mentioned that because my last slow profile one uh, pretty much just broke after using it for two years, so now I know where that one's at, so I'll make sure that that does not break this time. For some reason, it just basically was all like limpy and warp so it is basically one little hit on it it's basically broke it so I was pretty mad about that so that's why I bought this one also because it's a Valentine's gift for my girlfriend <laughs> but uh as you can see this is the the fan it, guys <sighs> sorry I'm talking so fast here and this so excited but guys this thing looks so shiny in person I, I don't know if you can even see the all these real reflections coming off it in the light this thing is so shiny and so beautiful and when it sits in my 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 slot inside my motherboard, you're gonna see that little sapphire logo right there. So it's gonna look so nice inside your computer, especially if you have a clear case. Um, but yeah, guys, this is this is my review on the 5770 Vapor X edition um, by Sapphire. Uh, I will uh, in the next video. I'll be putting an installation guide. I'll be installing it into this bad boy case. This is the 932 half X quarter master case um very nice case guys so i will get back to that in a little bit but uh for right now this is just a review and i will give you an installation guide in a little bit there's guys